Hello everybody, this is Brent Warner at edtech.tv. I hope everything is going well. Today I'm going to ask a little different question than I normally do, and that question is, how much does graphic design influence your life and career? Uh, the reason that I ask this, and I think it's a little different than normal, is because this is a question that has probably changed quite a bit over the years, and we didn't used to think about this very much. But now we're kind of living in this modern society where graphic design is pretty important on all aspects. And, you know, for another conversation, another time, I would blame or credit Apple uh, for for being <laughs> responsible for that. Um, but the point is, a lot of people are expected to make graphics, whether it be for their school social media accounts or for their own, you know, their own blogs or whatever it is that they're doing. And you know, a lot of us have these expectations that things are, have to look at least decent, you know, not not necessarily perfect, but we got to make things look at least decent. And so we're at a point now where a lot of us are not artists, but we're kind of saying, well, we have to make these things look good. So today I'm going to share a resource for teachers and for students that can be used to make our design look a little bit cleaner, clearer, and easier to jump around with. That is Canva. If you have never used Canva before, I'm about to introduce it to you. Canva is a great online resource. It's total, well, not totally free, but it's free. Um, and then there's upgrade elements available. And what you can do with Canva is you can uh, design right, you know, on your computer or on your iPad. Either one is fine. Uh, recently, I've been much more into the iPad version because I feel like it works a little bit more smoothly. So today we're going to take a look at how to design with Canva on the iPad. So we're going to go into Canva. Now, I've already got an account and I've been using it for a while, but you would sign up and they even give you a quick little walkthrough, um, but I'm going to go into a little bit more detail than their walkthrough. So what you can see here at the top is that I have my uh, new design choices and it says social media, presentation, you know, as I scroll over, I can see a lot of different possible choices. And then down below, I've got some of the designs that I've already made. If you see right here at the top left, I've got the design that is the header for this particular blog post as well. And I can go in there and I can, you know, ch check and make sure that all the changes that I made are, are okay. Um, but I've already done that one. So uh, today we're gonna work on a new one together and I'm gonna work on an Instagram post and, and specifically it'll be the Instagram post that uh, I will use to share this blog post out with. So let's take a look. If I click on the Instagram post, now you can see that it's given me this square uh, blank canvas here on the right hand side. And then there's a lot of cool layouts right here all over the the middle and I can choose one if I want to if I want to use this as my inspiration I could maybe choose this handcrafted with love one um, and I can use that one as you know my inspiration if I wanted to tap on the background I could maybe change the background uh, image or I can tap on the the uh, word handcrafted and if I uh, double tap on it you can see that I can change the word and I can say maybe made with love and uh, you know I go okay well that looks kind of okay but maybe I want to change the color and don't want it to be yellow I'm gonna change it to red okay and maybe I don't like this font Grand Hotel so over here I'll change it to uh, Gochi hand and you know I can just keep playing around with little different elements of it however I like until it looks good so when you start with their basic template it helps you out because you already kind of know the rough area you want to go in and then you just make quick adjustments to that now I am going to create one from scratch and I want to show you guys how to do that as well so the first thing I want to do when I create one from scratch and be, remember I'm going to be talking about Canva itself here so I'm going to go to the search function and I'm going to search for Canva now here I've got uh, quite a number of choices and I want to use the blue circle so I'll tap on it and it shows up right there into my uh, canvas. Now I can you know, make it bigger or smaller, however I want. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and I'm gonna center it here. So I'm gonna put this here kind of in the center and I like having the Canva there because I know I'm gonna be talking about that particular uh, 
topic for this post. So then I'm still going, hmm, well, how do I want to design this? So I'm going to choose lines. And I've got a bunch of different choices here for different lines that I might use. I kind of like these arrows. I'm going to click on that and go, okay, well, these arrows, I want to use them. And so I'm going to make them a little bit bigger, actually quite a bit bigger. And then with the little uh, twisty uh, turn icon here at the bottom, I'm just going to touch it and point kind of in an upwards direction. Now, obviously, I don't want that covering the logo, so I'm going to tap on down layer and it puts it underneath. So now I've got kind of Canva there with the, you know, the nice looking upwards pointing arrows and I actually want it a little bigger. There we go. Cool. So that's how I like that to look. Um, now, I have to kind of, you know, say what it is. I don't just want to say Canva. So I'm going to put a little bit of more information. To do that, I'm going to click on text. And we can see that I've got some simple choices right here in the column for uh, for text, but I'm going to try and mess around with it and make something that maybe looks a little nicer. And uh, I'm going to go with this very first one. Now it says, create a world you love to live in. Now I like the design of this, but um, I don't like what it says. So I'm going to change the wording. And to do that, I'm just going to double tap on each of the words that I want to change. I don't want it in small letters, so I'm going to make it uh, all caps. So now I can say I designed this graphic using, and then I know that Canva is underneath there, so I'm going to just tap on this one more time. The whole image is selected, and I'm going to shrink it down. So now it says I designed this graphic using, if I put it right here, now it looks a little better, but it doesn't look quite right, does it? Because using is showing up on top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the arrows and slide that down. I'm going to click on the Canva itself and slide it down a bit. And I'm going to make sure that I have this image centered. So that looks kind of cool. Um, I think I want to maybe move it over to the side. I can play around with it. Move this back up a bit. I like I like having the Canva centered. So. Maybe that's a little better choice for me. Now, I also kind of feel like uh, the background is lacking. It's a little bit just too white for me. And so I'm going to go back to search and I'm going to choose from their possible choices. They have all their lines options, but I kind of want something that's technology related because that's what this is about. It's education and technology. And I can choose from all these different, you know, free options here. And I like this old floppy disk. So I'm going to click on that one and it shows up. Now, of course, it looks strained, right? Because it's covering everything up and it doesn't quite look like it matches with everything. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on the white. I'm going to change it to black. So that looks better to me. Okay. So I, I want that image there, but I don't want it... Um, I don't want it to look strange, and so I'm going to change it. I'm going to put it down to the very bottom, and I'm just going to click on Down Layer to do that. So now I'm going to make it full size, just pulling and dragging with it. And that looks okay. That looks a little better, but it's a little too strong now. Um, so let me click on this little graph area that is transparency, and I can bring the transparency level of that way down. So it just looks like a texture now, and that's much better for me. Uh, but it looks strange to me because it's upside down, so I'm going to do the little flipperoo. Ah, uh, we're getting closer. Now I do want to center this text again in the middle because we've got this kind of looking like a um, like it's writing on top of the floppy disk. And so I'm going to shrink the size of Canva down a bit so I can keep it centered, but use it there. Okay, cool. We're getting pretty close to where I want to be. Um, now, the only thing that I want to do is make sure that I'm kind of clarifying what this is coming from. And so I'm going to click on the uploads button and you can choose to upload your own photos either from your iPad or on from your computer or you can take a photo right there on the spot. 
I'm going to go into uploads because I have a number of uploads that are already in uh, my Canva account. And I'm going to want to work with the uh, EdTech TV logo here. And I'm just going to kind of shrink that down, give it a little twist. And that looks pretty good. So at this point, I've showed most of the actual options for doing things. I do want to add a few quick little things that are kind of repeats of the same type of thing. So I'll be doing that in the background, and we're just going to skip forward a little bit. Cool. So this is going to be my post. Um, it's not perfect. It's not you know the greatest design ever, but it's good enough, and it looks good to me. So that's all I need to be doing, and that's all you need to be really doing. Um, all I'm going to do here is then click on the download button. And I'll choose either download an image or download a PDF, and I'll choose download an image. And it just takes a second, and then I am going to have everything <laughs> spick and span, ready to go. And I am going to upload this to my Instagram account as soon as I launch this post. That's it for today, so make sure to do your homework as always. First up is go grab the cheat sheet at edtech.tv. You can print out the one-page uh, PDF or send it along to your colleagues or coworkers if you think that this might be useful for them. Then next is to create an account at canva.com. It is free and uh, there are some paid options, so just make sure you know what you're doing when you go in there. Just look around and you know use your eyes, you'll be fine and then uh, become a graphic designer. That is my goal for you. You're gonna be a professional and your designs are gonna be awesome. I am totally sure of it. Finally, uh, find some ways to have your students design as well. Uh, on edtech.tv on this particular post, I have a few suggestions on ways that you can do it. So go ahead and take a look at that. Um, but you might come up with your own ideas on things that you want them to design for as well. So that's it. I am all around Twitter at EdTechTV. Instagram, you can see this uh, design that we created right here on Instagram at EdTechTV. Also YouTube and Facebook. I'd love it if you follow me anywhere that you are. And uh, I look forward to talking to you guys next time. Hope all is well and goodbye for now.